Can I play something for you? And I would appreciate if you would let me uh, run this clip in its entirety because I I didn't follow your wifey until the other day. I started scrolling through a page. I didn't know that you had this kind of love, but I feel like the people at home deserve to see this. Let's run it. Ever seen so many hating men in my life, and it is quite unattractive. Okay, so for every man who commented on my posts and was like, um, they call Wack 100 a hip hop legend. Yes, TMZ said that he was a hip hop legend, and that's how they feel. And I feel the same way. Okay, he can't help that he's brilliant and wise and lit and very relevant. I'm sorry that you can't be that way. Okay, sorry, not sorry. Get your own relevancy. Okay. Get your own, all right? But you probably can't accomplish that because you're like really boring and you have no personality and um, you're hella slow. That's on you, okay? That's on you that you sit at home all day and twiddle your thumbs and figure out how to hate on the next man. Sorry that you have no tenacity and you're like an excuse maker, okay? Tenacity. You blame the man for everything that you didn't accomplish and he didn't do that, period, okay, poo? Don't hate on my man because you can learn a lot from my man, my man, my man, all right? <laughs> Don't be a hater all your life, fellas. It's very unattractive. Okay, I love her. I, as soon as I saw this, I sent it to my girl and I said, what the f even is our relationship that you've never made a video like this about me. I'm trying to tell you, let's R and B. God damn! I mean, brilliant, wise, tenacity. She said, "Lit." You're brilliant, wise, and lit. Listen, man. She goes right from like classic normal words to lit. Throw it in too. She's speaking two languages at once. Listen, man. That's love. You, you gotta earn that shit, Adam. And I realized as soon as I saw this that there are things my, my wife has needs I'm not taking care of because if they were fully taken care of, she'd be making videos like this. There go. Cause I didn't ask you to do it. Who is she even defending you against? Um, TMZ. When oh, they put up yeah. the thing with Irv, right. they they said hip hop legend whack one hundred. And then people said. were questioning. People that. were okay. saying what they were saying, right? And I guess I, I, I didn't say nothing about it. I didn't care less. But she felt some kind of way. And she even wrote it down. He can't help that he's the goat. Wise, brilliant, relevant, fearless, charming, and one of one. And I I I, I wasn't there when she did it. I would hope. If you were sitting right next to her. No, I, I feel like you'd be able to feel the energy through the I camera. Wasn't there, but listen. How old is she? How old she look? 30? 44. Seriously? She'd be 45 on Halloween. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah. That was great for age, I'm honest. Yeah. And I mean, you just like talk about just eating her ass like it's your hobby. Yeah, like a blow pop. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Wait, what's with the like the cowboy photo shoot that you guys did together? Well, she um, getting your little Nas X on. She had a, it was a birthday party. Yo, crazy, right? Super cool. Let's let's pull this up. <laughs> she had a birthday party. Um, one of her friends. Oh my god! See, see, what about this? What about the fact that she posted me following her? See, that's not cool stuck too. Up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she appreciated that. And then she just posts a random picture of you, that, of you that she found on Google. I love this man with all my heart, mind, body, and soul. I'm crazy out of my mind, insane over whack. I'll snap a neck over him. Oh, shit. Edited. What did she edit? Like, how did this post change? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even see that one. Was it more intense before? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see There's that There's a one. part of me that just wants to spend, like, all my time just watching. It's like, it's giving high school sweethearts. Well, you know, you can have fun with your partner. That means something. Right. When she start getting, like, boring and irritating, she irritates you, you irritate her, right? You, you need that burst of energy. But see, that's the brilliance of a fresh relationship. Where, like, you know, me and my girl have been together eight years. She's had a bit of time to, you know, get annoyed by all my bullshit, right? My jokes probably don't seem as hilarious as they used to. You guys are in the first, what, year of your relationship? Uh -uh, two. two. Two years. So everything is still fresh to her. No, but you know, it's different because we're both grown as f***. Mm. So we're not young fresh. 
we're both grown. So in order to get somebody's attention like that on my side and her side, uh, it really is not a trying thing. It's just we're compatible. Remo told me that this love is actually like more special than I was giving it credit for because he said that he's seen her doing her thing in the clubhouse streets for a long time. So m myself, I'm getting to know her through her being wax lover. Yeah. Remo said she been out here doing clubhouse shit and content whatever for a long time. So I that makes on, me think about it even. I met her on clubhouse. Right. Chased her for like nine months. So anyone who says nothing good happens on clubhouse. False. I think we're the um, we're the only working relationship from Clubhouse right now. And are you seeing this going the distance? Definitely. So you're old and gray, grayer. Yeah, definitely. Okay. She buried me. Author, brand strategist, personal development coach. Great brains, witty. She can strategize on behalf of my brand. All that. Was That's she... a fact. Okay. Might have to tap in. That's a fact. Her name is very clever too. R and Words. B. Her name is Anne. Her government. No, no, it's Rakita. Rakita and. Oh, and then she threw the. Jo You're not even married, and she threw the Jones at the end of her name. She means she's supposed to. Ooh, I like that. What's love got to do? Got to her do. Her name is Anne, though. I was inspired by this when I yeah, she, peeped uh, that on her uh, thing. Yeah. She she keeps me when I get these crazy thoughts. Like, nah, it ain't worth the risk. What kind of crazy thoughts? You know, you be out here. Slide on somebody? Yeah, when you want to, you know, somebody piss you off, you be like, nah, it ain't worth the risk. Right. We all need that. For real. Like, for you, it's probably your daughter. My daughter doesn't really know about any risks that I might no, consider taking. No, but your thoughts. If you ever go in there, the thought of your daughter bring you back down. Mm. You will go crazy being away from that little girl. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You'll lose your f***ing mind. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Nah, you wouldn't know how to handle that. No, I've been there, done that. You don't want that feeling. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. God, even missing like she left for f four days. Or I, no, I left for four days. And when I got back, I just felt like I could really spot like serious differences in her brain and personality. And you felt you missed something. Yeah, I called her on Facetime right before I got on the plane. And this is the conversation we had. I go, what are you eating? She always says, like, you know, just, just the name of the food. No, like, description. No, like, additional conversation. I go, what are you eating? She goes, quesadilla. Mexican food. Spicy. <laughs> and I know this is, like, nothing. But I was just like, what the f***? Like, she figured out... The category, like the overall category, the, the, the type of food, and then an adjective to describe the food, even though realistically probably not accurate. It probably wasn't spicy, but. Might have been spicy to her. Little things. Yeah, 